rubble of a royal marriage, Andrew and Fergie's home built for them as a wedding present is demolished to make way for billionaire oil magnate's new manor house. It was the last remaining symbol of Prince Andrew's failed marriage to Sarah Ferguson. But now their former marital home, Sonning Hill Park, has been demolished and work is beginning on an even bigger property at the site. Aerial pictures show the wasteland where the 12-bedroom mansion in Ascot, Berkshire, once stood. The Queen had the original house built for the Duke and Duchess of York as a present for their 1986 wedding, but their marriage ended in 1996. The Duchess of York and daughters Beatrice and Eugenie continued to live there, eventually moving out a decade later. Billionaire Kazakh oil and banking magnate Timur Kulabaev then bought the mansion for £15 million in 2007 and now plans to build a manor house over a third larger than the original. It will include a master suite, six bedrooms, several with balconies, and eight separate bedrooms for staff, according to the plans. There will also be two dining rooms, a study, sitting rooms for children and a master suite. A 25-meter indoor swimming pool with a glass balustrade will replace the current outdoor pool. The house will have landscaped gardens, including a wild woodland area or orchard. The original mansion had been nicknamed South York for its resemblance to South Fork in 80s TV soap Dallas. But while the property has been demolished, questions surrounding its sale continue. Mr. Kulabaev paid £3 million over the asking price in 2007, despite the fact it had languished on the market for more than five years. Rather than being done up, the former royal property was then allowed to sit, empty and decaying for more than eight years until work tearing it down started two years ago. It was so ramshackle, that Bracknell Forest Council at one point considered using powers under the Housing Act to seize the property and use it to house the homeless. Pictures showed the patio had been destroyed, gardens become overgrown and windows were boarded up. The mail revealed last year how leaked emails showed that the prince was far more involved in the sale of Sunning Hill Park than previously admitted. They showed his staff went to great lengths to ensure the sale went through. His then aide, Amanda Thursk, discussed interior design and security arrangements with the wealthy Kazakhs. She even tried to secure a deal for Mr. Kulabaev, the son-in-law of the Kazakh president, to lease two fields next to the mansion from the Crown Estate for a peppercorn rent. The emails also revealed an attempt by Andrew to arrange for Counts, the Queen's Bank, to take Mr. Kulabaev on as a client. Buckingham Palace has always said there was nothing untoward about the transaction that Prince Andrew had played no part in the arrangements himself, himself.